Um, I'm really short, sorry. <laughs> um, I have a presentation, but the words don't go with the presentation. The presentation is something else. So I'm going to do the words and then pictures. Okay. Yeah? Okay. 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 Um, explain in the most lucid terms and exchanges change. Sudden, unrelenting, delightful, perplexing, wonderful, frightening, unpredictable, stupefying, overwhelming, and most of all, constant change. My exchange helped me discover who I was. A person who, while completely different, is not new, just previously unbeknownst to me. Um, I learned that I could do what it takes and how to see things in a new light and from multiple perspectives. My exchange here taught me to trust. To trust the people who started out as only names. To trust that my abilities and strengths were enough to not only get me through, but to help me prosper through a year where I was apart from everything I had ever mattered to me. Um, I spent my year thinking constantly and about everything. I would think about my future self, my past self, and my present self, usually all within a few minutes of each other. I thought about small things, things I had never contemplated and that used to matter, not matter, and about how they mean everything now, and about how what used to matter doesn't, and how far away everything seemed. I figured out what I wanted for myself and my friends. I discovered what was important and let everything else fade away. I realized that what I thought I'd miss and what I actually missed were completely different. I learned perspective. I learned to live in a life based more on reality and understanding and less on thoughts or assumptions. I grew because of the people. They shaped me and guided me on my way. They related to me and kept me sane. Going into exchange, the people I would choose to hang out with were based on who I felt that I would click with. During my exchange, the people I became closest to were a part of my life due to location. People I never would have thought to hang out with at home, the ones who I never imagined clicking with, ended up becoming some of the closest friends that I've ever had. This seemingly small occurrence changed the way I see people. This confuted everything I had once thought to be accurate. In the long run, it opened me up to receiving what I never knew I needed in a friend. The healthy relationships that I gained from this made me take a hard look at what I discovered to be unhealthy relationships and to expel those from my life. Through this process, I figured out myself and allowed myself to feel worthy of what I had. I learned to accept things about people that previously would have led me to discounting them and to not let people get away with the stuff I had in the past. Figuring out this balance took huge effort and processing. The relationships that I gained from this process in this year are the most beneficial and meaning ones that I've, meaningful ones that I've ever had. Um, while a drastic understatement, going on exchange pus pushed me outside of my comfort zone. My exchange was nothing at all like I expected it to be, but everything I wanted and needed it to be. My year was a turmoil of every emotion possible. It's like a roller coaster. At first it scares you, then you slowly adapt and like it. It has high and low parts, which represent the good and bad times the last year has thrown at me. And eventually, when it came to a stop and my turn was over, I had grown to like it so much. <laughs> that, um, so much that I would have given anything to not have had to get off. Um, the good time I, times I experienced were unbeatable and the hard times were wretched but I wouldn't change a second, except for maybe the ending part, because I would like to keep it going. Um, I never felt so comfortable about being me with so many people and not caring what they thought. I have never seen so many people come together despite countless differences and without mention, notice, or care of those differences. Everyone was not only accepted, but accepting. The way I lived starting the day I got on the plane will always be influenced by my host country and my year. I left a kid and came back as someone whose self-esteem was boosted, who had worldly humor, and who broke all barriers. I grew up and I saw the world, and now nothing can bring me back. My mind has been open, and my desire to continue on to another journey has been set ablaze. The hardest part for me now will be figuring out how to balance the two completely different worlds that I now live in, trying desperately to hold on to everything, all the while figuring out what I have to leave behind. Well, this may not have been a typical presentation, um, one where you I share where I traveled, who I met, where I lived, and how I got along in my day to day. This is what I feel needed to be told. It is impossible to fully grasp an exchange if you have never experienced one. However, I gave my best shot to explain to you the feelings and the underlying factor of what an exchange really means. Um, the part that no picture or story could possibly relay. 
Exchange is not a year in your life, but a life in your year. And this is something that must be felt, for it can never truly or accurately be explained. An exchange takes, you, takes over your mind, body, and soul for a year, and while it is the most exhausting thing you will ever do, it is indubitably the greatest. Um, I want to take this time to profusely thank each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart and with every fiber of my being for allowing me both the privilege and honor of not only going on exchange, but for allowing me to retell a part of it to you. Um, I now have pictures and a few funny stories from my exchange to share, as it is expected in these presentations. Yeah. <laughs>